Yeah. yeah. I sent it to you on the Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yes, I could. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know him? No, like, he follows me. Oh, awesome. For some reason. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's, he's super sick. And, um, what was it? How did you know him? Twitter? Dude, you don't even have Facebook. Oh, for sure. I, feel like I don't have Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know. Um, I should probably create one, but I, I, I knew Maddie because I was going to stay with him, actually. Yeah, he, he, a lot of people stay with him. I was going to stay with him, but our group was five people. Okay. And it was too much, so, mm -hmm. um, it couldn't fit in his apartment, mm -hmm. obviously, so I didn't mm -hmm. stay. Interesting, interesting. Are you documenting these people? Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, just for myself, just so I can see in the future. Yeah. Like, how do you, like, how do you like, retrieve that? Google. Uh, Google Photos actually has, has search. So Google Photos. Um, so Pixels a lot unlimited storage, at least until Pixel 5. And then so you can, like, search by date and location. And so if I search for Ottawa, I'll, 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 I'll get this. Yeah. Can I, like, have, like, trace, please? Like basically, yeah, voice recognition. Yeah, ideally, ideally. Um, but Google has been lame. Google has, be, uh, Google has become lame, really lame lately. Like it killed Google Reader, which was the fattest never. That's like ten years ago. Not ten years ago. That was 2013. Yeah. I mean, they have Feedly, but no one uses Feedly, and, and ours is still like that or something. I use ours, it's basically like this. Oh my god, oh my god, you have Chinese sources too, holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's like a feminist. Feminist? I love the like, app version. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Ottawa's not it. I know. I love Lester. I already know. Like, holy shit, like, this is blowing my mind. The fact that you built all of this by yourself. Oh, yeah, by the way, does it, does it combine certain data, does it upload certain data into a database? Like, is it not all, can it have, have the ability to upload your data, certain types of data into the cloud? I'm sorry? Can it upload certain types of RSS articles or articles into the cloud? So that to reduce, or, if, uh, reduce redundant storage? Like, kind of, but like, this is just like text. It's like super uh -huh. small things. It's not, it's not like huge. Yeah. Does transhumanism excite you? I don't actually care. Yeah. Like, I really want to be dead before the next whatever global pandemic begins. Okay. This global pandemic is nothing, though. No, I can just like go to sleep and not wake up tomorrow. Hibernation. Okay you know, people are working, people are working on hibernation technology. I, I mean, you know Laura Deming? Yes. Yes, I do. Yeah. Not like, what? Yes. I, I haven't kept all tabs on her yet. Yeah. You always well, that's interesting. Like, so, tell me more about the whole hibernation. Like, hibernation, yeah. I mean, she invests in longevity fund, invests in fun about that bio. Um, and like, you can put sulfur, uh, sulfuric acid into the body that slow, slow everything down and then just live in a minimal kind of state. And actually, you know, the, thing is, the weird thing is that you wake up in an instant afterwards, like it's anesthesia. That's, that's the beauty of hibernation. Or not hibernation, like if you put yourself into a co and, she, and do the artificial coma, you actually wake it feels almost instant the next time you wake up. Say? It feels like almost an instant, and almost an instant passes. Would you age at all? Um, you age some in hibernation, but much at a much, much slower rate. That's actually pretty cool, though. I feel like. Like, I was like having this like conversation with like EA McGill. Like, oh, EA yeah, McGill. Yeah, we also have like a, a, a Discord server. I Holy think. shit! Oh wow! I can. Do you have any cool other cool Discord servers? Right? Do you have any other cool Discord servers? Oh my god! I want to be in. EA McGill. Holy shit, Anna. Okay, I can. I can yeah. Okay. Do you have like a Discord window? Discord is in Quantia. I need to send you the invite link. Yeah. Yeah. To you, um, email. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! Your workflows together. So like your Gmail, like your Twitter feed, and like articles, everything like central. Basically, centralized everything. Turn on the keyboard. Yeah. So you can see. Oh, yeah. So you like you can find from anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, like if you like open it up. Oh yeah. Like basically a tablet. Is that like everything? I love everywhere. I think it's so cool. I know. I know. And that inspires me to like. Return my iPad and get this. I mean, I, I, I mean, you can, you can get, 
Yeah. You can get stuff for free, pretty much free yeah. and like. Yeah, it's like a, a tablet screen. Do you have a pencil too? I do. Okay, interesting. Yeah, just like you can um, jot down things. Interesting. Just, like, as a tablet. Holy shit. So it's like a small tablet. Where do you buy this? Uh, we're Samsung, right? Yeah, you can just like buy it at any Samsung store. And Samsung store. Wait, there's one here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I know that there's a Samsung store in Toronto, but okay. here, you can buy it like at the store, so uh -huh. like any tech store. Okay. It should be available. Mm -hmm. Or you could even order it on Holy shit, you have Chinese apps. Holy fuck. You have Chinese apps. Yeah, so cool. I was like in China, like, after, like, before high school, like, 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 until I was in high school. Yeah, I was like in China, like, 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 like,
I mean, I that's definitely true. Like, like that's like the concentration. Of that. Yeah. Basically, I mean, yeah, yeah. And now they're saying that Miami's the new like. It's not. It's not. Can't you? Can't you wrote about it? You know, can't you too? Can't you? On Twitter. On Twitter, no. Can't you? K A N J. Indicating. Who? Who introduced you? Taylor. Taylor. Oh, Taylor Rogowski, Ro- 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 yeah, the group yeah. house guy. K A N J U N. That's your first. What's your usual name? Yeah, she also does like NJ. What? She also does like NJ investment. Uh huh. What? She also does like NJ investment. Angel. Oh. Yeah, that's why like Taylor. Like, is this Yes. Yes. And Bruno Suarez. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she hasn't like re- replied to me back. Um, do you get sent email her again? Yeah, just like a Twitter group, like basically Taylor, like, um, invited us to like a Twitter group. Um, because she replied to Chris Lakin, so, and she said she'll be back. But I mean, she's like getting rappling demand or higher demand. She's also, she has, she has silliness in her. She, yeah, can't you can be, but how liberal are your parents? How liberal are your parents? They're pretty liberal. Okay. It actually saves a lot, especially, no, especially because Asian parents are like... Oh, yeah, they can be conservative. Yeah, no, my parents, they started off as, like, very conservative parents, but okay. they've gotten more liberal as I got older. Oh, that makes like, sense. I, like, I mean, I, I had a lot of discussions with them on certain topics, and it okay. definitely brought in their, like... Do you have enlightened parents, then, like, very educated ones? No, um, my mom just graduated from high school. Holy shit. And wow, that's dad, deep. Yeah, and my dad, he went to college for mechanics, uh-huh. and that was it. Wow, your parents literally aren't that educated. Wow. Yo, your parents aren't that educated. That's, like, different from most parents I've, I know of. I think, I think that's pretty average, right? It's average, but, I mean, people I know tend to not, are not average. That's, that's fair. Yeah. What? Um, I mean, in terms of Asian parents, yeah, yeah. I mean, Asian parents of a of similar jobs, of similar education backgrounds, cluster together. Yeah. But I know some are very talented. So, so Joanne Penn is a teal fellow whose parents actually had a working class background. She came from Saskatchewan. Jo- Joanne Penn. You should you should like follow her. So many people today. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, what's up? Um, Joanne Penn, you said? Yeah, P-N-G-E. Yeah, yeah. So it makes it hard to manipulate. Do your parents know Dixon Wu, or? Uh, my parents don't know Dixon Wu personally. Uh-huh. I do. Okay. Do you ever, like, visit Dixon Wu often? Yeah, I go to Dixon Wu every once in a while. Do you ever, like, visit Dixon Wu often? Dixon Wu often? No, we live fairly far away. Oh, interesting. Pardon? Yeah, I've caught up with Okay, Dixon, interesting. Yeah. What are you guys talking about? Yeah. Her parents, oh, I was talking about her parents and stuff. I mean, liberal parents are, oh yeah, maybe if the parents didn't really go to college, then they, they're probably more okay with you not going to college. Yeah, no, they were ex- against it at first. They That's, were like, what do you mean, you're not going to college? Oh, yeah, but, but they're not, it's not that it's ingrained in them to be, to be, uh, to like think your world's going to fall apart if you don't go to college. I mean, Pushing me to like, that makes sense. That makes sense. Because they were like, well, you, got, you would be like the first person in the family to like uh-huh. go to university. So they, needless to say, they were quite shocked uh-huh. when uh, I said I didn't want to go. Okay. To okay. Yeah, I mean, it's been fantastic. Okay, and what did you start up in again? Um, it's in hard tech, so we're basically converting 5G radio frequency waves into viable electricity to charge, like, electronic devices. Dude, like, literally, this is like, li- this feels literally like a Casimir effect or something. Or it feels, it's, it's like using the elect- electromagnetic background radiation into, it's, it's like, kind of like wind power. It's kind of like that, yeah. Wind power, except with the uh, vibration, because there's like sharp gradients, yeah. sharp gradients in 5G fields. Yeah, it's like so dense. I cannot do yeah. batteries, but for like bad charging batteries and capacitors. Exactly. Yeah. So That's like us, interesting. So Is there enough power to charge in the 5G? Testing right now. I, I recently got access to a 5G government test lab. So we're building the prototype to test that out. Uh-huh. Thank you. What's your sensitivity? 
What's your sensitivity? In terms of like what what range are we working? Yeah, what range? As of now, we're trying to like we're trying to go for three point five gigahertz. Okay, what's what the, what 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 power can you manufacture? What power can drive? We're trying to harness at least like this is bare minimum. 0.5 uh, volts. 0.5 volts? To like 1.5 volts. Okay. If we managed to get 1.5 volts, like, that would be that would, uh, sad or anything because I that would result to slow trickle that charging. That okay. Like, 5 volts would lead to fast, like, fast charging. Yeah. But right now, like, 0.5 is like the bare minimum. That's what we're trying to get so far for the prototype. Okay, 0.5 volts battery? The no, EMF. Like like power. power. Okay. It's so hard. It's so hard. As like as a woman and as a person of color in like the hard tech industry. I don't think it, they discriminate against Asians. It, no, they don't. But like, I found it's just like it's. Oh, nobody's discriminating against. It's not my race that's the problem. It's my gender, cause like I, so far, like in my entire team, I have a team of five. Oh my god, that's so cool! Oh, I have a team. Of well, are you managing the team of five? I am. So, okay, why can't aren't, aren't they more technical than you? Um, I am. I'm managing a team of four people right now. Well, and there are are they more technical than you? Can they help? Yes, yeah, Be they co-found. are. So they're co-founders, they can pitch along with you. Exactly, but I'm managing like business because like without, so like I'm extremely lucky to have found somebody, um, to have found like partners okay. that I can coexist with. Okay. Because without them, like my startup wouldn't exist. And without okay. me, my startup wouldn't exist either. Okay, right? okay. I'm the one who's connecting us with all like the business, like. I'm handling the business, essentially. Like, how do you learn all this so fast? Like, how, like, how did people take you so seriously as an 18-year-old? Honestly, I just... You have presence. That, yes, that's one. And also, like, I've made a point where I am willing to do anything to get what I want. And Are they much older than you? Oh, yeah. 100%. But they're probably much wiser in some respects. In some aspects, yes. But in other aspects, they don't know as much as I do. Okay. Um, and that comes to, like, that comes with, like, I don't know. Honestly, you have good I'm, intuition or something. Yeah, intuition. I'm, do you know Ian Lockhart? No. He's the TKS director, and he leads with intuition. Intuition. He's not as technical, but he is a great, like, he... He knows a lot with about business and also like intuition and just like he knows how to talk to people. Okay, okay. And that's a like that's a really big part um, in business. Okay. So if you want your startup to thrive, you need like a good business partner. Okay, okay. And that's okay. like true though, yeah. Exactly. Like for right? me, like me and my co-founder were like both technical backgrounds, and like I can talk to people more. So like that's like why I'm like me. Okay, talking okay. To, talking to people like learning about their mm-hmm. company, as like catch the customers. Like How do you get those skills so young? You just do it. Like I. You just have intuition. Exactly, intuition, and also like I'm not afraid to try anything yet. Like I will let people know that. Like hey, like listen, I'm not great at this. I don't know this. Okay. Please teach me. And by doing that, by okay. putting myself out there, okay, I've been able to learn a lot mm-hmm. in a very short amount of time. Wow. So I, I think. Within the past six months, I've talked to over a hundred people uh-huh. in like all different like backgrounds, okay. with all different sorts of backgrounds. Uh-huh. Like, I've talked to PhDs from Georgia Tech. Oh wow! Holy um, shit! I've had like several conversations with them, and I said like straight up, like I don't know how to do this. Please teach me. Interesting. And they taught me like the physics behind antennas, um, and they taught me like the physics behind like how how they manufactured the antennas. Uh huh. Sort of like how does it work? And they showed me the schematics and everything, and I was like. Holy shit, like, this is so cool. This is mind blowing. So, the engineers basically take you seriously, but the VCs and investors don't yet. Maybe it's your age no, as well. I mean, investors actually do take me seriously. Okay, investors? They just. The thing is, is with hard tech, you need a prototype, and we don't have Oh, a prototype you don't have a prototype. Yet. Okay, okay. We're building it right now. So, it's a miracle to, mm-hmm. for us to have already raised 15K yeah, without like so a cool. prototype. Exactly, right? exactly. Yeah. So, 
I have, I have several investors lined up for the new year. Okay. Because I'm gonna be finished. I'm, I'm. We're currently building our prototype right now. That's gonna be finished towards like mid January, mm -hmm. almost like start of February. Okay. And then I'll be talking to investors. So once the prototype is finished, we will be like raising a crap ton of money. Interesting. Interesting. So I have all of that lined up. So that's so you, you're that's so interesting. By the way, the way you talk right now sounded so different from the way you talked in the beginning and on, on Twitter. <laughs> it's like you sound a little bit like you still sound like an eighteen year old girl on Twitter, but then the way you talk right now just made you seem so much far more uh, enhanced than an eighteen year old girl. Exactly. I mean, like that's do that's do. Oh, I can't speak. That's the duality of it. Right? Duality. Do people get confused by the duality or sometimes? Do, do I they? Mean, it's interesting. When I when I talk to investors, I tend uh -huh. to. I guess, reserve my 18-year-old self, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I like to unleash that 18-year-old girl inside of me on Twitter, so that's my yeah. theory. <laughs> I mean, same with Chagoon. Chagoon comes off as really childish in her, um, some, her, in her, some of her mannerisms, for example. Yeah, um, but like, when I... What? No, childish is not a bad thing. Like, it's not, I, I think it's... I think it's a very, it's an extremely good thing to, uh, to, um, to be Janusian and both have child like and yeah, adult characters in the best. Duality is yes, I have the duality very much so as well. That's cool, yeah. yeah. I, think it's a mo I think it's one of the most important things. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, when I talk to investors or when I actually get serious, uh -huh. I, I completely like shut, like shut that 18 year old child like out. You can do that. I, I can do that. I can control that. That's amazing. That's incredible. But yeah. So, and how are you investing, like, at, like, what kind of, um, like, what kind of, like, amounts are they, like, trying to? Mm, okay, so, as of now, I'm raising 15k, that's the bare minimum for the prototype. That's pre-seed, that's my pre-seed Do you know Ben Nashman, I think he has, are you good friends with him? I'm not good friends okay. with him, I wish. I'm good friends with his CFO, though. Did you friend a lot of the Toronto TKS students? I know a lot of Toronto people from TKS, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna connect you with Henry Fu. He yes, I would love this. He's recently raised. He's insane. He's, okay. His life story, oh my gosh. There is so, oh wait, David's been talking to me about all those dropouts from TKS. Like, the TKS just oh, aren't going to college. Yeah. It's like, I mean, SF used to be the dropout. I mean, Alexi Guzzi ran on the Twitter, like, SF used to be the culture where people dropped out. And the only, and the only, the only and now Toronto is gonna be next. Well, it's because, like, if you learn how to, like, so how to teach how yourself, yourself. But also like the peers, like he gives you the peer group, peer group. So maybe like hundred k. Yeah, yeah. Hundred k. Yeah, he's currently building an ad tech company. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Outside of that, like a lot of people don't take yourself seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, take us bubble. I mean, I've heard about this. There, there's a TKS leaderboard, I heard. I'll, I'll set up a reminder, I'll do that. Um, that's what I heard about one year, at least. Um, I don't think there's a leaderboard. There are a few people like that. Okay, I don't know if you have Twitter, but I can connect you through email. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I, I'm gonna set up a reminder for myself. Interesting. Um, this is the time when I wish I had your I'd like to know about the leaderboard. Oh, um, leader, like, um, what, what makes yeah, the point? Like, like, I don't know. There, there isn't a... Like, Wait, by so for my pre-seed or my seed like, there's like, like, this is like 15 yeah, what do you mean by leaderboard? Um, I don't okay, know the so details, but, like, but I, I heard someone honestly, tell, say that there was a TKS leaderboard and triggered some toxic culture TKS. Um, I don't want to dilute my team much, but I'm thinking around like 3 million in my seed round. Okay. We were also predicting, my co-founder and I were predicting like inflation and like how the economy was gonna go for like the next year. Oh, feedback. Because like right now, inflation is going through the roof right now. Right, so uh -huh. Bound to be a crash, like in the next interesting, interesting. year or so. But after innovate, right? Uh huh. Brother Chilan, do you ever know Maggie Lee? I know she's like bound to have a crash. Yes. Well or not well? Not that well. I follow her YouTube channel. She has a YouTube channel. Are we Wait. talking about the same Maggie Lee? Wait, give me one second. There's a Maggie Lee and a Maggie Guan, I guess. The uh, Maggie Lee sounds really good. Okay, give me one second. Okay. Let me see if I'm connected to her. Maggie. From TKS? Yes. 
Never mind. I'm not connected with her on Twitter, but maybe she has a Twitter, but it, she she grows up on quantum gradient, uh, quantum gradients, it because she was even quantum computing. Do you know Lana? No, I don't. Okay, Yolanda was her TK friend who also did a lot of the. Okay, meetings. I don't know Maggie. Like right now, I think what? There are a lot of people with TKS, and uh-huh. so far I think there's like what, like a thousand people now. A thousand. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Um, okay, so we're around three million because um, my friend are again like this is just what we so think. I tend to like like when, when I just it just comes to like money like and raising, and raising I like to like stay on the conservative side, and I I don't like to like be. With funding, I guess. So I want to raise enough money to last us like 18 months. Because it's still. I was talking to my co-founder the other day, and they were like, "Okay, so right now with NFTs and like Web3, everybody's pouring money. People are throwing money at Web3 right now. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. There's a lot of noise. COVID made it like that's one industry. But like the thing is, is that with VCs, they're only investing in like software or like web 3 yeah mostly like, yeah, mostly, mostly. mostly it's very rare yeah, to find yeah. somebody who's so going to invest in hard time yeah because they're kind of okay, yeah, yeah. Exactly. okay since your parents are really a working class background do you think this helped with your management and leadership skills i mean that's a good question i don't know because i was fairly independent when i was growing up because my parents would go off to work for the most of the day and I'd just be alone. Interesting. Wow. Um, so a lot of the stuff that I... Do you still live with your parents? I do. Okay. So the most of the stuff that I've learned, I've taught myself. I, I like, I grew up teaching myself a lot of like the basics. And yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you have to. Oh well, yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, my parents didn't know. I, when I was in like, I think I was nine years old when I started writing like immigration letters for my other, like for my... Agency. It's called agency. <laughs> you have agency. In that, like, a lot of the highly educated, most highly educated people have no, no agency, basically. Yeah. Because they get lost in schoolwork and competitions. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, that's... I'm so confused. What's... Agency. It's agency. It, agency is a word commonly used. It's, abil- it's formulating your own... Form- every, every, you, you, you formulate your own plans and you act on... And you, you have action bias towards formulating your own action. Plans rather, and you you are super self aware and in, in forming your you're super aware, super self aware, and forming your own plans and acting on them. I'm pretty sure she knows what agency is. I thought you said Asian fee. Oh, agency. I know. Yes. I'm so confused. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, I. I mean, yeah. Oh, I, have, for a I haven't really done much reflection upon it. It's just like. It was just a part of me, so I just kind of. I mean, of yeah, yeah, but it being a part of you, not time reflection, it's like sort of a magic creature gift that isn't measured through God and tests. Yeah. Like, you didn't go, you, I mean, you didn't go to prestigious school or anything I like didn't. that. I didn't. I went to, like, the closest school. Yeah, but was... you're resourceful as fuck. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I mean, like, honestly, I... It's like, for some reason, a lot of TKS are like, like the, almost no TKS is going to Harvard or MIT or Relief schools, and then they still do interesting shit. Yeah, and that's what I love about the community, honestly. Yeah. Like, it's... I mean, it's it's it support. It's it's the community strong enough to make like not getting to Harvard and not and that maybe people not care if they like not feel bad that they don't get to Harvard or whatever. Yeah. Which is why, like, I mean, ever since I learned, you retweeted like, my tweet about TK after being so emotionally mature. I did. It's there. You you retweeted one of my tweets. Do, do you don't remember? Which one? I. I've there. been very active on Twitter, so I don't remember. You like, haven't, or you have been? I have been. Okay, yeah, you you retweeted one of my tweets. Over my feed. I'm not joking. Okay, wait, hold on. What? She like does. Um, I basically what? live on Twitter. Like she I'm on Twitter twenty four seven. Okay. Like, whatever she does, like pops up on my feed for some reason. Who is I'm your like, favorite oh, person you follow? Always. Oh, that's a good question. Me. I've been your favorite. Okay. Okay. Um, and on my mind, you know. Oh, is it the the TKS students frighten me because yes, they're so yes, emotionally yes. well adjusted? Yes, set by Harvard students. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you asked me about Boston, and like, there is something overly academic about Boston that I do find a bit stifling. Really? Did you say No, I just live in Boston. I just live. Um, How so? Why I don't know. It's. Stifling? I mean, every every scene is still like. I mean, since they're still technically open, like, 
Boston is still te more technically open cities than mo most it, most cities and most other things, except it's still lectures, seminars, like talks, <laughs> like fuck all that shit. Really? Like who the fuck cares about? But like because classes are just so old school. I mean, you don't. Um, you, Boston has, uh, has, does have a stronger startup culture than than most cities, but that's. It's still like not what San Francisco has. It's like, I mean, it's a qualitative difference. I want to go to San Francisco so badly. I was supposed to go in January. Yeah. Actually, actually no, not even January. I was supposed to go like this month. Okay. But then COVID happened and everything. Omicron. And I yeah. wanted to spend, you know, the holidays with my family. Interesting, interesting. And I was supposed to go in January. Interesting. Because. I thought we were going to raise more than 15k for my PC. Interesting. Interesting. So I would have enough money to go to SF or do whatever. Yeah, right? makes sense. But I didn't raise enough. I okay. only raised like the bare minimum to build my prototype. So when I raise it again, why is the prototype I, so cheap? That's a good question. Okay. I actually Okay, so I'm very fortunate to have like three engineers work, working for me. Do you have a good three. website? I we're revamping it right now. Yeah, I, I could find almost nothing. <laughs> oh no, we're revamping my yeah. website. I'll send it to you yeah. when I like once it's posted. Okay. Well, I saw we have, it. Like, yeah, we have nothing. Okay, so, okay. If you're raising like five million, it's not gonna be like you would have like a fifteen. Like, yeah, I'd be out of fifteen. And like that's like crazy. That, that is like, insane. I know. But I mean, so when's the timeline? The timeline to raise and to, to your seed round. for my seed round, yes. like just like the fundraising process, or mm -hmm. like yeah, basically. Okay, so after I, I build my prototype, which would be in <laughs> mid January, <laughs> mid January uh, no, to I'm, end of I'm February is my oh, okay, like okay. raising. Okay. Round. Oh, okay, yeah, raising so oh, okay, I'm I mean, no, actually, yeah. like yeah. Sigil. Do you, do you know? Yeah, Sigil? I know Sigil. I've been since Genesis. Oh, awesome, sick. Yeah. Okay, so Sigil raised in two weeks. Oh, he raised in two weeks. Uh, I mean, he's a Web three dude. For a seed yeah. round. Yeah, he's Web3, so it's easier for him. Um, he's in Web3. He's building a... That, what, that happens in live moments. Then. Yeah, Monument. Monument. Have you used Monument? I've checked out the website. Okay. I haven't used it. I want to. Okay. I, I need to... I, I have a lot of stuff that I need to set up. What is, but, it, what, what is Monument? Monument? <laughs> Hold on, let's see like if I can search it up. Like to tokenizing life moments. It's oh. like, uh, hold on. Do you follow Sigil? He's a cool guy. You should, um, hold yeah, on. Yeah, he is. Mm, so, like, is there, like, basically timeline? Uh, here, monument. So, how much? It's it tokenized there? storytelling. You're basically, here, let's see if I can. So, like, how much do they raise? Um, ooh, Sigil raised 1.5 mil. What the fuck? Holy shit. I know, in two weeks. He had Holy Naval, shit. Naval and Justin Khan on his team. That was pretty cool, actually. Yeah. He had Naval. I, like, freaked out when he said he had Naval. Oh, my God. And Justin Khan. Oh, my God. You don't know what Naval? What's Naval? Oh. Girl, let me put you on. I'm Alex. Right now. What? I'm Naval. <laughs> I mean, he's, like, Silicon uh, Valley's, um, girl. Okay. He's like, yeah, Naval is insane. Um, oh, I know. He's like, person. yeah, I know this person. Yeah, wait, he has him on a team. He's on, a prophet. Not on his team. On like on his like <laughs> investor, investor advisor. Investor team. advisor team. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. I know. And like, did you guys have a lot of transhumanists on it? Are there any transhumanism discussions? Oh, that's a good question. I don't think I've participated in any discussions. But do you? Where did any even exist? So, I got. A I could poke around and see. Yeah, you should. Okay. But um, send me an email to actually all... Henry Fu. Yeah. Henry Fu. Oh, yeah. I need to connect you with yeah. him, too. Okay, so I'm going to connect Henry Fu to the both of you. Yeah. Henry Fu is insane. Oh, okay. my gosh. If you a biology person. Like, is that, like, basically, like... This is, like, the TKS, TKS Slack. Like, you're, like, taking notes. Did it take out old members? Do the flag take out old members? No, they don't. Um, you can look it up on the internet. It's very easy to it's it's explained very easily. Yeah. No, they they didn't. They're, okay. They shouldn't. This is weird. TKS they, uh, like they yeah they wouldn't kick out old like this is the new TKS law. 
There's an old TKS flak, rip TK. Oh, this, this is mine. A, oh, this is mine. startup. Oh my god. Were there factions of TKS like renegades or trolls or? No, okay. I don't think I've encountered any. Like trolls, like trolls, renegades. Or renegades. I don't think I've encountered any. Okay. So Nick, how do you get excited to work for you? That's a good question. I like to call it fate or serendipity. You're lucky. Or just pure but if, you, if you put yourself out there on the internet, or if you're in the right social group, it will happen to you. But yeah. you, yeah, I mean, that for that you, you, you did it without having a huge internet presence yet. So I think that's especially interesting. So, like, I had no money. I still have no money. Your parents were working class background. Right? Yeah. So I, How far are the house? It's a single home. Like, we're okay. I'm not, like... I'm not scrapping money to yeah, like yeah. eat or uh -huh. anything, but I don't have enough money to pay like full salaries. For oh, for salaries, yeah, makes sense. So like, we're but can okay. you generate that much electricity from the five T in order to be, make something interesting that's like solar powered? As like, you know, the solar generators for. I believe it's possible. I'm biased, obviously, because okay, like yes. this is my startup, yes. right? I, I believe it's possible. It's it's been done before. Um, have you ever read like Jack David McKay? David McKay? No, I haven't. You should read it. I like we look at the book. I'm a power uh, generation. Okay. That's another thing that I have to check out. Hold on. Uh, but how I got engineers to talk to me? Okay, I'm very lucky to like build to be building something that's extremely like interesting and rare. Okay. I mean, like not everybody talks about wireless energy. Like interesting, interesting. right? Yes. So I think also like, like you need to like oh my God. record some video of yourself talking because I think this will make people take you more seriously, especially oh, on the internet. Really? Yes. I've been thinking oh, about starting a YouTube channel yeah. or start streaming. Yes, you need to. You do you think I should do that? Yes. Yes. Actually, okay, I'll, I'll do that. You convinced me. Who's the David guy? Yes, like actually looking from your Twitter, like I wasn't sure if you were just <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it all. I know. Like, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is are you serious? You didn't take me seriously because of my Twitter? I mean, that's kind of sexist too. It's not that's sexist, sad. no. It's more... I know, I know. Because like, there are these that take... I mean, it's just like, in, in general, like the same Um, thing. it's not... It wasn't the sexism in, in no, as much as it was just... No, I didn't take it as a sexism. Yeah, I mean, like, not you in particular, just like, in the general sentiment. Like, someone might... Oh, someone might... Uh, I mean, Wait, this is just... Why did yeah. you not take her seriously? No, I, I didn't totally take her seriously. I mean... I mean, also, also like, there, there are various degrees of what it means to take someone seriously, like, um, but, like, I mean, it's base, it's baseline. Yeah, no, no, that's, it's, it's that's totally fine. I'm not offended. Like, I just find it like, funny. Because, like, talk, like, talk about, like, your personal lives all the time. And it's, uh, it's not about personal it's lives. Just, it's more so my tweets, which is yeah. totally understandable. Yeah, yeah. Like, I tweet about random shit all the time, which is totally yeah, fine. Yeah. Who's this David guy, by the way? I want to check him out. Which David? Uh, the... Da you mentioned a David about wireless power. McKay. Wireless. McKay, okay. Yes. How do you spell his last name? M C K A Y. David, David McKee. Oh, David McKee. K mm -hmm. A Y or M uh, K E Y? -E All right, I can send you later as well. Okay, sick. I, I love that. Yeah. But yeah, um, okay, so how did I get um, like three engineers to like work for me for free, basically? I don't like the term like working for free because like that's illegal, right? Like I'm not paying them, that's illegal. So I like to say like they're working on this passion project. Okay. But basically, I went to a bunch of like networking events and I just shot my shot. I was like, hey, like gave like an intro, like I'm blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm yeah. working so on this. I think committing. Committing, okay, that's a good question. Um, on average, maybe around like 10 hours a week, which is not that much, right? I mean, considering that they're not getting paid, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. That's like definitely for me. So like for my project, it's just like open source. So there are like also a lot of contributors that I want to like just like contribute for free. And basically it's just out of passion. And that's like also around like 10 hours a week. Those are the, like, those are the best people. Like, it's also like so hard to manage though. It is. Especially it is. with the software, like you have to coordinate everything to overhead. Yeah. Oh, as to stick over, yeah, like, no. You have to communicate Sorry. extremely well. Yeah. So like the first thing that I set up was a Slack and a Notion page. I had like a team Notion page where I would post all of the to-dos, like all of the like whatever we had to hit that week that had to be done. And then I would rate them on a scale of like 
like on a scale of like urgency so like this is extremely urgent you need to finish this to like this is not really urgent like this is like a nice to have right and then I'd basically delegate tasks I'm like okay like engineering like engineer one like you do this engineer two you do this and like we'd have like bi-weekly syncs where we would basically say okay like what did you do today and uh, what did you do this week did you get this thing done okay these are the schematics okay these look good what other iterations do we have to make how can we make this better okay remember we have a meeting with like this phd or this professor um, on this day to like review the schematics and everything make sure everything runs smoothly and that's basically it honestly i'll be completely transparent with you i'm still figuring this out as i go and that's the honest truth with a lot of founders too when they're managing like um teams especially like i've talked to like well experienced founders and and they've been like i met this really interesting guy i forgot his name in montreal but like he's had a, over a decade worth of like experience like starting startups raising and stuff and like managing teams and i asked him how do you do it how did you learn all of this and how did you like just how did you become so successful and he said I just figured it out. Like, that's the one mindset that I would forever cherish. It's the figure it out mindset. I did, but there's a lot of false signals. Of course, of course. I think Elon Musk also talked about it. Yeah, that. I mean, I, there's a, it, I mean, I think it's like a signal to noise ratio. I figure it out is possibly lower than average. Oh, it depends on what you define as signal to noise. But, I mean, a lot of bullshitters do that, too. Yeah, that's true. But, um, but yeah, I think, I don't know. Honestly, I still experience imposter syndrome sometimes. Yeah. That's why I was extremely shocked when you told me that you found me interesting and that you were glad to talk to me. Because I was like, me, like, you're glad to talk to me. Because, like, do you know him from before? No. No. And you like celebrity? Me? It's complicated. In a few circles, but it's also like, yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, Complicated. I'm also pretty polarizing, but uh, the polarization also changes over time. Yeah. I mean, like, like in the teal circle? In what teal circle? Yeah. Um, I mean, people know of me, but most people don't have strong opinions of me. Actually, I know this. Like, but I'm, I mean, I'm very, I'm very memorable. Yes, yes, you are. You, even you can tell even now. Wait, did you tell, did, could you tell when you, when, when you saw my Twitter? Yeah, because I would, your tweets would pump up on my TL many times. I'm like, okay, that's Alex. Okay. Like, I would remember your tweets. Okay. But you didn't even remember your retweets. I, okay, because I didn't know which specific one Interesting. Talking Interesting. About, but... Like he's right next I remember it now because okay. like he described it as a roller coaster. What did you say before? Yeah, he was like you said um, you made fun of TKSers. Someone did. Somebody did. I didn't retweet that. That I retweeted what you said about. Um, I mean, like I retweeted your tweet about how TKSers have like a high emotional intelligence. Yeah, like yeah. That. That's what I retweeted. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. But I don't think I retweeted. I don't remember if I retweeted some somebody making fun of TKSers. Hold on. Maybe it was Jai. Jai made fun of TKSers. That's oh, Jai, the climate, the climate for TKSer. Yeah, yeah. Or he, he's, yeah, he's yeah, working no. different. Jai, Jai Parr. Yeah, Jai Parr. Why did he make fun of them? The climate TKSer? Yeah. Why did he make fun of them? Um, he didn't, he said, uh, why do all TKSers like to use Calendly? Calendly? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. everyone uses him. I use him. Exactly. It's so convenient, right? I don't use it. Well, I don't either. Yeah, I, I just, I'm like Lumiver. So how do you like put meetings if you don't use Calendly? Also, Calendly means that you have to put, you... Calendly also means that some that randos can random random noise can book appointments with you. Exactly. So I don't do that. No, you can just like share a link with like people who are like. Or, like um, but you put it on the web page. You you open yourself up to people who are just waste your time. Yeah. But no, but that's like from another perspective. It's like you get fresh perspective from everyone. That's true as well. I have like stumbled upon like a lot of people from like Calendly. Interesting. Okay. Spontaneously with you and Calendly meeting with you. Interesting. And and then have like be angel or something. Interesting. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. So. Half the time, I I just like 
news people's Calendly, so they'll send me their Calendly link, and I'll just book, like, a meeting off of there. Or, like, we'll just, like, arrange something manually. I'll be like, okay, like, what's your Have you set up October 15, 17? Yes, actually, I talked to Zach Slayback. Okay. He said that they'll invest, but they ran out of funds because I talked to him, I think it was, like, end of November, okay. and they just ran out of funds. Okay. And they were like, we're going to raise again in January, so talk to me then, and then they'll invest. Okay. But yeah. Do people say you make a stronger pay- impression on them? I don't think I've asked people that. Okay. But I would hope so. Do you think I left a strong impression on you? Um, it it uses over time, yes. Okay. I think I definitely feel like you have a strong impression on me. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. so you upload all your courses. Yeah. Like fresh out of high school and doing this. Basically, creates a course. It's a good story. I think your mannerisms are very interesting. They are okay. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think there are more of the manager type than most. And it's all like even like most teachers I know. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So at the beginning, when you first log on the platform, you check size. Check size? Oh yeah. Check. I I can get those checks. Basically. Um, so far I've raised, uh, three 5k checks, I mean, it's understandable, nobody's willing to drop, like, 15k or 50k on me right now, but what about after prototype? After prototype, so, yeah, I'm willing to take up to 100k, like, I'm honestly willing to take whatever, I, I know some, uh, there was this one venture, I think it was, like, eight, uh, 186 ventures, this guy named Giuseppe, he invested in uh, Synex Medical, which is Ben Nashman's company. Oh, holy shit. Um, so I basically said, hey, like, I want to raise 50, uh, 500K. And he said, yeah, like, I'll back you up on that. Wait, he just, like, give you, like, 500K? Yeah, I mean, like, they're big, like, venture, like, VC companies especially. They're willing to, like, write up, like, really, really big checks. Right now, but, like... Um, like, I, like for my like impression, they only um, get to like make those are, like, a couple of per year. Um, I am raise, those are like angel like, investors. We're talking about VC uh, companies, yeah. which yeah. like normally annually they have like a spending limit. Like they yeah, have to spend like X amount of money, right? Yeah. So like the I like, like um, I, I definitely talked to like VCs. Like, okay, yeah. Like, it's like from like different and in hard I'm like, just wanted to hear that like yeah. from like, a perspective. Um, and so, like, I have the product on Figma, so, like, it's like a lot of VCs, like, how do they feel, like, do they say, like, uh, yeah, well, we can invest um, 500k when, when, the, you, when you, you have the prototype? Yeah, yeah, that's generally how it went. It's like, <laughs> their <laughs> conditional <laughs> yes was you need to have a prototype, so, and then we'll invest in you. Oh my god, it's just like, um, oh, like, if you have a prototype, then we'll invest in you. I am that's actually so cool. Be like, and really? Like, yeah, yeah, that's so cool. I'm, I'm just like in the space, so I don't. Everything I haven't so gotten right another now, perspective on how this thing looks like. It definitely like yeah, right so different um, from like um, when you're doing software. Because mm-hmm. like for us, it's more about like the data yeah, like, and then like the uses, and like they want to see at least this is their business viable. And for hard tech, definitely, I don't know. It can be like more capital heavy. So. Yeah, I mean, like the main point was, did this does this tech work? And if it does, okay, that's like like that's one big check done. Um, like another thing that they would obviously look for is like you know is will this make money, right? Like, is there a business behind this? But like, I'm pretty okay with selling that. Like, I'm like I've. You know, like in terms of making business plans, I'm okay with that. And I've sold like I've sold the idea to investors and VCs already, so they're okay with that. Now, what they're waiting for is the prototype, and that's it. That's actually. I mean, like one thing that you have to think about when you're when you're raising fundraising is like it's like a dating game. You have to get to know like the VC or the investors well, because like. I'm sure you've heard about the saying before, but like when you get a VC to invest in you or you get an investor to invest in you, that's like a long-term marriage that you cannot divorce from. That is true, yeah. Right? Or you dilute it. Or you dilute it. 
yeah, like, I'm trying to like make so the rounds like oversubscribe so like I can be able to invest in. Yeah. But like I think like, five million is like uh, it's a lot. Yeah, like you're, you're you can spend two point five million a year. Well, how's that gonna be break down? I'm just like curious. Yeah, of course. So forty percent of it is going towards well, not forty actually thirty. 38% of it is going towards salary um, and then the rest we have I'm very conservative when it comes to money so the reason why we're raising that much is to last us 18 months so in case there is some sort of like um, let's say that uh, there's a recession that happened like that that happens next year we'll be okay like my team and I will be okay um, and nobody's gonna starve nobody's gonna wonder like oh my gosh like how are you gonna raise more money that sort of thing how are you gonna continue um, and I talked to a lot of like of my mentors and stuff and they said like allocate some money for buffer allocate some money for taxes because you have to consider like right taxes are gonna kill you so you have to like raise enough money for that um, and also if we wanted to most of it's just buffer money in case anything happens in case one of our team needs to like fly out to um, to like Germany or Finland because right now we have manufacturing companies like I've already signed a contract with a manufacturing company for the antenna in Finland so if anybody needs to fly out in Finland make sure productions okay then like we're okay we have enough funds for that right um, breakdown of it is just prep if there is a recession that's why we're raising that much normally it's just gonna be like salary production and marketing and that's it because like for me I definitely like um, I'm only asking for one million just because like 99% of the salary so yeah I'm trying to like target 1.5 years of runway so that's good that's yeah, smart as well but like we're both basically just like engineers how much are you paying for your engineers um, I'm looking to like have a team size of like three to four so I'll take 50k a year. Are, are you That's okay, yeah. my, um, my engineer is probably gonna give them like and hand me 50k plus. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So like basically competitive and with like um, options and basically just like standard yeah. stuff options. Yeah. Okay. So don't forget about insurance. Do anything. Like you're doing so much. Are you gonna provide them with insurance or benefits? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. So make sure to allocate money for that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, like, I mean, for, but, but, like, um, I've heard, like, like different things. So somebody like, say, like, um, I should just give them more money got, and they can the sort themselves out. Like no, 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 no. Like, I mean, like, they, they, they got 60 tests, and doesn't it have to be higher internationally? It depends, yeah. I can. Yeah, like, that's the point. I think that's, like, the major point against having, like, providing the health insurance.